Hello, everybody. Sorry there, I was a tiny bit late. Uh, for 15 seconds. Uh, sorry for wasting your time. But, you, the re this video will be extremely short and fast. So, this is three underwater traps and useful inventions that you can use in your Minecraft worlds. So, the first we need and it's a bit more redstoney than some of the other other things I'm going to be doing in this video but first of all so this is the mobile TNT cannon so you got to be a decent set of blocks but I can be like one two so the way this works so I'm a little bit slow today I'm just slow so so this is the basic flying machine we all see it's can't remember who created it since it's so old, but this is the basic flying machine. You go out to adventure, you see this in your friend's base. Probably like some sort of missile or something useful like that. I just noticed how like high this is in the water. So I'm just gonna go out down. One out two. Okay. Okay, bang bang. Alright, this should be good. Okay, and then we can do this, this, this. And this is a, this piece there. And then, and this, this. This should be it. I'm, I'm. Like ninety nine percent sure that this isn't a, it is too much to pull, but you never know. I can't even push. Oh, well, that's not good. So maybe we can cut off these blocks. Okay, maybe this will work. Wait, do we both have? Okay. Okay, so obviously this is too much for the piston. So maybe um Why don't we just do this? Okay. And so this is kind of the basic setup, but since we're redstone folk, as you probably know, we like to make things exponentially harder for ourselves. And the great thing about this part is that it requires a lot less redstone than you think. That's the power house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, pow. That is our, that is our delay. All we gotta do to start it up is this. So, the only tiny problem with this one is that it's very easy to if you wanted to. So, I'm actually just going to build a base. So, obviously you could do a tiny bit better than me.
know, but the, the beauty of this is that it's that simple to launch TNT. You, all you gotta do is just TNT look right there. So the concept of this is to build a blast pad deep underwater, like this. So, but the trick to success is that you need to have everything underneath. That way you, all you gotta do, when you feel like you may fancy a little bit of bang, is just start spamming. It's only one spam away. Apparently that doesn't work. So I'm sure on time for this video. So instead of this being three things, we're actually gonna make this just one. But the whole idea is that we can build underwater cannons that blow up on the main whenever we feel like it. So we can just launch this up and this and then this. So we can just un we can underwater TNT, which is kind of useful because a lot of cannons don't work underwater because of the feature of the great thing is that when it reaches the top, it's like pop and blows up. So if we put a, if we were to put a boat up there right now, now we're like ultra short on time. So this is the last thing for today's episode so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and do this okay we're gonna press that right there okay that's heading up to the surface and we'll just go ahead and launch that piece of TNT so it has the ability to take out a boat not exactly great but we can improve this isn't one of my let's do everything in like two hours videos. It's more of let's get straight and quick to the point. So let's just. Alright. So. So we'll just. Notes. But anyway, that's the idea. So guys, remember, my name is Minecraft Tinker. When you like and subscribe to my channel, it helps me make an explosion of videos. This is all for today, and I'm out. Bye, guys.